the challenges in this program took place in a strictly controlled environment, managed by the competition organizers. Do not attempt to copy them. Just one challenge stands between the five contestants and a place in this year's final. The dreaded barge challenge. Play! It's a test of technique and balance. The players have to chip footballs from one barge to another. And it's against the clock. They have 14 balls and just 30 seconds to find their target. It looks a lot easier than it is and um the, the barge is quite narrow and um, it's got the balls in through the barge while it's moving and um, the ball's quite close together. It is a difficult challenge. And with only three places in the final up for grabs, the stakes couldn't be higher. Hi lads, um, well done for getting to the final five. This will be your last chance to get to the final, so three years will go through to the final and two will go on. May the best three go through. Good luck. Well done. Make your way round the back there, guys. Well done. The contestants must wait out of sight and will have no idea how well each of them does. So, um, Wayne, with this, what are you looking for? Technique um, is the main key. Yeah. You need to get your distance right as you're obviously moving distance each time. So if you get your distance right and your technique, I think um, then you'll be OK. First up is freestyler Oliver. He was patchy on the last challenge. And he's already making his excuses. I'm not going to make any excuses, but I think it's going to be harder for me being left footed. Do you know? Because, but I'm not going to make any excuses. I do it. Do Use your right, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, wish you all the best. Good luck. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. All the best, Ollie. Left footed. All he has to do is come round it. The challenge is designed to be fair to both left and right footed players. It's up to Oliver to step up his game. Oh, good, good to He gets one in early. And with some good footwork, Oliver ends up with five balls in the barge. That's good. It's a tense wait for Oliver, as all five players must take their turn before Wayne makes his decision on which three are through to the final. Overall, I thought it's gone first again on this challenge. I thought he'd done um, OK, so um, it's always difficult going first, so I was pleased with it. A few people have just said, like, well done, you did well, so we'll find out soon anyway. Next up, Swansea boy Ricky. You OK, Ricky? Yeah. Good man. So what's your thinking behind the challenge? How are you going to approach it? Um, I'm going to try not to rush. I, I'll, I'm going to try and take my time, but not be too coffee and take too long. So, um... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyway, we'll wish you all the best. Have a good right. challenge. Good luck, mate. Thank you. Take your time. Wayne criticised Ricky's footwear in the last challenge. I honestly couldn't believe that you were wearing them. But will they see him through to the next round? <laughs> Effort. Tremendous. Tremendous. Ricky finds his range early on. Well done. Tremendous. He manages to get eight balls into the barge. Yeah, he's got the right shoes on for them, isn't he? You can't complain with that about him. I only had three in the water, so I'm hoping the rest are winning. Great challenge. Um, we weren't expecting it, so it's probably probably the one time is, is footwear, the, the right footwear for the boat, so... Third to go is Jamie, whose attitude impressed Wayne earlier. But will he be good enough on the barge challenge? So are you looking forward to this challenge? It's a really difficult challenge, I feel. Yeah, I love clipping balls, really. That's, that's what I'm about, so I'm confident. 
Jamie could be just 30 seconds away from a place in the final. Wow, what a start. Jamie, keep going. He shows good technique, but his chips just aren't finding their target. <laughs> Only two of his strikes end up in the barge. Good luck to Jamie, well done. Good technique, but a low score leaves Wayne with a tough decision. I just feel it went. Um, I could have got more in, but I thought the technique was all right. Didn't get a lot in, but technically he was, he was good, I thought, so yeah, it was a good challenge for him. My chance to get through, I feel it's quite quite high. There's five of us left, three places, so only two are going home. Next up, Spressin. He's a quiet lad, but he has noisy supporters. So obviously you've seen the challenge now. How do you feel you're doing it? I think I'll do pretty well to be honest. Okay, um the three have been have been really strong, so you need to give it your best today. Okay. Definitely. Spressim has been the dark horse of the competition, but now will he book his place in the final? Come on, Spressim, come on. His early strikes fall short. <laughs> but he gets two in in quick succession. Bresson gets just four balls in the barge, giving Wayne a dilemma. Well done. Go on, Spreston! He's straight, that one. He went late on that one. But I, I like him. I think he's a good player. I do as well. I think he's great. I don't know what to do here. Wayne's not sure, but Spreston is certain he's done enough. Well, I think I've done challenge before this as well. I'm pretty confident, to be honest. It's not about just getting the balls in the, in the barge. It's about um, how, how they look technically, so... Um, but I'll take that into consideration when I make my decision. With just one more player to go, Wayne's already made some decisions. I know two who are going through now. So. River is the last one to go. How's it feel to you now being so close to the final? Feeling confident, but because I've gone last, the nerves are creeping in, just need to get over and get it done. I think uh, we'll um, make sure you're fully focused and you give it your best shot, all right? River is normally very composed, but his dad knows him best. Yeah, that butterfly's definitely, but I think once the flaxen goes, I think we'll be okay. It's a shaky start. Then River hits his stride. He gets eight balls on target. Ten balls on target. Well done, River. Well done. Well done, buddy. Good stuff. A good performance from River. Has he been last as well? He hasn't done nothing all day. Exactly. Exactly. I think I've done all right. I thought I could have done better, because because the ball, because the boat was getting closer and closer to the finish line, I started rushing my shots. It would have just took me time a bit more. I reckon I could have got a bit more. Five players have now completed the barge challenge, but they have no idea how well each of them has done. So, which three has Wayne decided he wants in the grand final? Okay, well done, all yous. So, done really well. So, well, unfortunately, only three can go through to the final. So, the first person going through to the final three. Is Ricky. Ricky, who started the competition with no confidence in himself, is through to the final. And the second person going through to the final three is River. River's storming performance earns him a place too.
but only one from Spressum, Oliver and Jamie can take the last place. I'm the last person going through to the final is Spressum. The dark horse of the competition, Spressum, completes the final lineup. Oliver scored more balls than Spressum, but Wayne wasn't convinced by his technique. I was looking for how many they got in and technique, and um, didn't think technically he was the best at it, so that was the only reason for not putting through. He was close, though, it was close between him, him and Spressum. Rooney's decision doesn't mean anything to me. Obviously, like, I do my thing and it's totally different, so, so, yeah. First is first, second is lower, isn't it? So people are saying I've achieved something, but I haven't. So now Wayne has his three finalists, Ricky, Spressum and River. I think now for Ricky, nerves isn't a problem in terms of he realises how good he is. Yeah, I've been this that being ages. <laughs> That's what football does, it brings your confidence out and... You, you'd end up doing things you didn't know you can do, so I'm hoping that you can you can do that again and surprise me again in the final. Spressum is a great lad. He steps back, he watches, he takes long. Every time he's we've been here and done challenges, he's got um, his mates down with him. We give him great support. Best feeling ever. Best feeling. I'm really I'm really happy. River for me is the strongest competitor in this competition. Mentally he's strong, physically he's frightening. Throughout the competition he's been the most consistent, so um, I was pleased he's done well today. Can't tell you how I'm feeling like at the moment in time. I'm buzzing. Next time, it's the Street Striker final. I think it's going to be amazing, the venue it's in, the atmosphere, the crowd. As the finalists battle it out for the title of Street Striker 2010. This is going to be the biggest final we've had the things on, so I'm looking forward to it.